previous video, chapter 2, part 2, we discussed the expected value or mean value, the center of the distribution. In this video, we will continue with the variance which measures the spread of the outcomes around the mean or around the center. The variance of a discrete random variable x is denoted by variance of x or sigma square x is the expected value of the square deviation of x from its mean. x is a discrete random variable. Suppose x has k possible outcomes denoted by x sub i and p sub i represents the probability that x takes on the value of x sub i, where i is an integer 1 through k. The variance of x, or using the sigma notation, sigma square x, is the expected value, but not the expected value of x, the expected value of the squared deviation of x from its mean. Mu x is the mean value of x. We are going to use the expected value formula introduced in the previous video, but here the outcomes will not be x sub 1 through x sub k, but squared deviations from the mean. The first outcome in the expected value calculation for the variance will be the square of x1 minus mu x. The second outcome, square of x sub 2 minus mu x. The last outcome is the square of deviation of xk from the mean. Remember the expected value formula. We multiply each outcome by its probability. Then we will add them up. By using summation notation, we could write the variance as In the variance formula, you see that square of x is involved. And so, it's difficult to interpret the variance in the unit of the outcome. At this point, here's the standard deviation of x, denoted by sigma, and is the square root of the variance of x. The standard deviation of x will be in the same unit of x. Let's calculate the variance of a Bernoulli random variable. Suppose an experiment has only two outcomes, 0 if failure happens or 1 if success happens. If we define x where x takes on value 1 if success and 0 if failure, then x is called a Bernoulli random variable or binary variable. A question for you. If the probability of success is p, then what's the probability of failure? If you haven't answered yet, the following table might help you to answer. Outcomes are 1 and 0. The probability of success is given, which is p, since the sum of the outcome probabilities is 1, the probability of failure is 1 minus p. Let's calculate the variance of this Bernoulli random variable. The variance is the expected value of the square deviation of x from its mean. We have two outcomes here to apply the formula. The first outcome is the square of deviation of 1 from the mean of x, where mu x is the mean of x. Multiply the outcome by the probability, p. Plus, the second outcome is the square of deviation of 0 from the mean, mu x. We multiply the second outcome by the corresponding probability, which is 1 minus p. To be able to continue, we need the mean value of x. Mean value of x, or the expectation of x, is the sum of all products of outcomes and their probabilities. The first product is 1 times p. The second product is 0 times 1 minus p. p plus 0 is p. Replacing mu x with p, There are two terms. We can factor out the common factor, 1 minus p times p. Then we have p times 1 minus p as the variance of x. In an example, we can see how to use these equations. Suppose that Adam will either win or lose the next game, and Adam's chance of winning the next game is 0.8. Based on this experiment, I will have three questions. First question first. What is Adam's chance of losing the next game? There are two outcomes, winning or losing, and the probability of winning is 0.8. Then, the probability of losing is 1 minus 0 0.8, which is 0.2. The next question. What is the expected value of this experiment? We have a Bernoulli random variable here. 
with outcomes winning or we could use 1. The probability of winning is 0.8 given in the question. The second outcome is losing or 0. The probability of losing is 0.2. Then, the expected value of this experiment, given by the success probability, which is 0.8. Last question, what is the variance of this experiment? The variance is given by p times 1 minus p, which is 0.8 times 1 minus 0.8. Let me add one more question. How about the standard deviation? Is the square root of variance? That is 0.4. Suppose that a random variable y is defined as the function of another random variable x, such that y is equal to a plus bx, where a and b are constant. Then, the variance of y is given by b squared times the variance of x. To give an example, suppose that the random variable x has a mean of 16 and variance of 25. Let y be 1 over radical 25, times x minus 16. Let's find the variance of y. By using the property, variance of y is equal to square of the constant times the variance of x. Then we have 1 over 25 times 25, since the variance of x is 25. We find the variance as 1. In the homework, you might see sigma notation more often. The variance of y is equal to 1.